Welcome everybody, welcome to the Tomb of Illumination where everything's about the illumination of our earth and our consciousness, conscious state of man how to illuminate it or what happens when it gets illuminated anyway today's story is about um, Genesis the start of everything I'm going to explain it because you know the Bible is accurate but people don't know how to read it so I'm going to explain the two light system so people get a bit confused about uh, chapter 1, 3 and then it goes on to 14, 15, 16, 17 about the other light so bear with me I'm going to explain it you could say I'm the only physicist in the world who can explain the whole earthly system how it began how it exists how man is connected to it, man is of the earth, within the earth, of the earth, um, and how it uh, generates itself, how it feeds itself its energy, self-perpetuating, that it's fixed and stationary and all that, because earth is flat, it's not a spinning ball, with nothing in the Bible can correlate with, and this is why they think the Bible's garbage because they believe the spinning ball. How about drop the spinning ball and start believing something that's written thousands of years ago that's the actual book of physics? I'm going to explain it, okay? So I'm just going to do a couple of pages out of Genesis. Okay, well, probably one page. So it starts off, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, okay? So there's a duality there, the heaven and the earth, the physical matter, the non-physical. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Wow. Well, what's that? Without form and void and darkness. Because this is associated with the black hole. Nothing exists. It's 2D. 2D. The 2D plane. Okay? And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Because all to do with water and sound. Our whole realm is moisture and sound. Sound creates colour. And then you come into the, the physical matter. It comes within that. So he moved it. So what do you do? You've got the ecliptic. This is the plane. The 2D plane is our ecliptic plane. It's a circle. Because it's the horizon of a vortex. And our whole realm is projected from an internal vortex. A central place called the hyperboloid center of the toroidal field. So it starts with the plane, a spin of water, rotating, okay? You can look at it like this, or you can look at it as a spiraling into the center, okay? There's two ways to look at it. So you've got an inward motion of the magnetic field coming towards the, the hole, but then you have us expressed out of the hole, okay? So when you draw on the, the planets, they have been expressed out of the hole. But you've got the magnetic field, which I can use another pen for, is flowing into the field. And everything is curved. Okay, we'll get more into this later. That's the torus field. And it comes in, and then out comes our, our reality. Our world comes out of it. Earth is from the hole. So it starts here, and then it starts spinning. Okay, remember it's a vortex, vortex of creation. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, starts setting it spinning. And what happens when you start spinning a vortex? It starts, it starts off with the circular spin here, it then becomes one big spinning vortex of water, right? So the whole thing becomes spinning. 
you take this out of the middle, you end up with a core, as in Corinth. Relit in ancient Egyptians used the word cor Corinth. So all of a sudden, you now have this vortex. And then God said, let there be light. And there was light. So there was light. So the light is on the horizon of the black hole. Right there. Because the light is the frequency, the sound that came out of the core of the hole. The spinning, the noise. Put your ear over some vortex water. Very noisy. Hit the right frequency. The light, the light, hit the perfect, perfect tone or frequency. The sun illuminated. Now, with the sun, sun comes the depth. We see the depth. So the 2D plane thanks to the light, because it's all to do with magnetism. We have to go back to magnetism. The whole realm is to do with magnetism. The two forces of nature are magnetism. Male and female, North Pole, South Pole. So the illumination from the sound starts up here. And we'll do boom. Created the vortex, but the vortex is unseen till you get the light. And the light shows us the depth so now we have this, we have this 3D three D depth created from the 2D plane. So now you've got to imagine everything up here cast into the 3D depth. So our whole realm comes from a 2D plane. But only because of this have we been created in our realm. So once this is created, come down, boom, out comes the toroidal field. The torus field. This is the hyperboloid center. Okay? So you could draw this as a big, if you can see that. The duality. We'll take this out now. Because what's happened is the male, this light here, which is male and female, this is singularity here, the 2D plane singularity, it's male and female in here, it becomes separated. So the female comes out because she's magnetism, she's magnetic. This, uh, this light, the magic of the light, is male and female. And out comes the female, the split. That's the whole Eve story, the rib cage. Well, they mention the ribs, not just a rib, it's the rib cage, it's that even split. There's Eve, you could say, Eve as an even, 